All right, so here we go. I decided to make a video. So this is the beginning process to try to make garlic, butter garlic shrimp scampi. I have all my ingredients ready. White cooking wine. It is 10% alcohol by volume, but that would evaporate, so that's not a problem. There's the shrimp. Uh, you can probably hear the kitty in the background. Uh, there he is. Alright. I went in and got the cooked shrimp. So the idea is to just throw everything in my um, electric skillet and just basically let it heat up. Uh, there's the olive oil, butter, lemon, black ground black pepper, and kosher salt. I decided to skip the parsley because I don't like parsley. So I'll go ahead and pause here and continue when we get to the next step of the cooking process. Awesome. Alright, here we go. I got everything set up. I got my skillet preheated. I'm going to attempt to uh, do this while I record. I got the, the recipe off of uh, off the, the internet, whatever, right there on my phone, my iPhone. So here we go. First step is melt the butter. I'm using Land O'Lakes. Sorry about that. Uh, Land O'Lakes, the regular one with olive oil, I think. There's gone. Recipe calls for two tablespoons, I believe, but I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, really it already smells wonderful. go. Alright. I'm going to throw a little bit more butter in there. Let that melt down. Next step on the recipe. Fry your shrimp. Add salt and pepper to taste. Alright. I'm using the cooked Peel divine tail on medium. Okay. Uh, kosher salt, of course, tastes better. Okay. Uh, the recipe did state to fry them uh, on the side. Add some salt, but for this to taste, so I am going to add some more. And the recipe calls for black ground pepper, but I'm going to be using McCormick. I will have to pause though while I do that because I only have iron offense. Okay. All right, I've added the salt and pepper to taste uh, according to my skillet i'm at about 350 i'm gonna go ahead and lower that down to actually the lowest setting because this shrimp is pre-cooked so recipe next calls for uh, according to this more butter uh, i'm not gonna argue with that so there's some more butter and more butter. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat up again on my skillet so that that butter will melt down. It'll probably come out a little overcooked, but that's all right. I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and turn this up all the way because that butter does not look like it's melting. Okay. Oops, sorry about that. Right. Okay. Uh, lemon juice, water. Oh crap, I was supposed to have the garlic two steps ago. That's all right. 
this is minced garlic spice world brand about that much going to turn the heat down it already smells wonderful um, gonna go ahead and add a little more garlic why not I do like sour stuff love lemon Speaking of lemon, I believe that's the next step. Uh, shrimp, cook, lemon juice. Where's my lemon juice? Right here. All right. I'm using a concentrate Concord Foods. This one's actually really, really good. Uh, I, like I said, I love lemon, so we're gonna add a little bit of squirts. Okay, this this one calls for water, but I am doing a non-alcoholic version. So, uh, uh, there's Chucky, aka Wabbit. So we are using a white cooking wine, ten percent alcohol by volume. Most of that alcohol will evaporate, so I'm not worried about it. I think he wants some. He wants some? Okay, it's almost done. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I turn the heat back up to max, and I'm going to go ahead and add the white wine, cooking wine now. Go. Oh, it actually smells uh, uh, like alcohol. Um, okay. uh, turn the music down. I don't want to get a fucking copyright strike. Uh, okay, I am going to use uh, garlic salt. No, I'm gonna go with garlic powder. Just a general, I mean, a generic from Walmart. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna do more pepper. So let's pause the video while I do that. Okay, so I added more pepper, add more salt. Um, I know it's bad for you, but uh, I do like my food salty. I feel like I can't taste it when it doesn't have enough salt. So yeah, these are just supposed to simmer, but since they're already cooked, um, it does not appear to be simmering. I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat up. I'm going to get, a, I guess, a, a boiling. Oh, I'm tired. Alright, so we're just gonna let that simmer. And we'll come back for the finished product and taste test. Alright, they're done simmering. There's a finished product. Hopefully, you can make that out. Uh, yeah, should be alright. Uh, so, that's what it looks like. I'll try to not get in the way of the light. Marshmallow from Blue Witch Project, but anyway, I'm trying to go ahead and get them with my hands, your tail on. So, um, pepper, I'm trying to get one with some garlic on it. Let's try this one. Mm. Okay. Hmm. It tastes, like an, it tastes like an eat salt to me, but that's just because, like I said, I love my food very salty. But overall, it's pretty good. I mean, they're pre-cooked, so it's just kind of 
combining stuff. Uh, I do have another bag of, uh, of shrimp in the fridge over there. So the next batch I'll probably try to... <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Here, I'm going to talk to him eating one. I will, I will, uh... Wait, only... Here you go. Is it good? No? Alright. Well, that does it for, for now. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Okay, a uh, little follow up. I just re realized I forgot to add the uh, olive oil. That's probably why it tastes not as good as it um, could. So the next batch I will add the uh, olive oil. But overall, as we can see, it's a success. You know, we, can, we can see him there eating this, eating a little piece of it. So, yeah, that's it. All right, update number two. Um, actually, the ones I just made, I uh, removed them from the skillet. Put a little bit of garlic up in there. I'm going to go ahead and add olive oil to the skillet. Oh, you got to be kidding me. It's got a fucking cap on it. Alright, hold on. So yeah, I removed the shrimps from the skillet. Preheated again. I'm gonna go ahead and add olive oil. Let that uh, heat up. And uh, I did separate the liquid from the shrimp. So that's all the lemon juice and the white wine. Uh, cooking wine, excuse me. So, all the oil is going. Then throw the shrimp back in. So it's going to cook. Hopefully, it'll absorb some of the olive oil. I'm not going to add anything to it except for its own liquid. There we go. And we get that simmer. I go ahead and put the top back on. There we go. All right. So this will probably be the end of the video. I'm not going to go ahead and uh, include uh, how it turns out at the end of this this time. I'll just add that in the description. So thanks for watching, and we'll go ahead and uh, patch all these videos together and uh, upload them to YouTube and share them on Facebook so everybody can see them. Thank you all for watching. Love you guys.